Welcome to the first video review for Yoda's News. Uh, for years, you guys have been following us with our written reviews, and we decided with specific items it might be better to actually do some hands-on reviews. So today we have the Bug Collector from Uncle Milton, and we're going to go ahead and open it up, take a look at it, also get a perspective from a younger child to let you know if it's uh, worth picking up. All right. Here we go, we'll start with the review with uh, the features. It includes a bug viewer, a built-in searchlight, a soil sifter, a magnifier, a recon tool, belt clip, and a fun and informative guide. We've unpacked it. Myself and my daughter Gabrielle are gonna do the review. Here's a quick look at the learning guide that comes with it. Just a little information about different things out there, different bugs, where they're from, things like that. And now we'll take a look at the device itself, which comes assembled, but it can be taken apart in several different ways. Um, we'll start with the top here. There's a cap. It has the uh, clone trooper on it. That comes off. And right underneath there is a viewing lid. So whatever you would put inside here that you found, you can view. It also comes with a tweezers. And we don't have any real bugs in the house, but Gabrielle's going to go ahead and put a sample bug in with the tweezers. And we'll go ahead and see how it looks. All right, so you collected your bug. You lock your lid back on, your bug's in there. You can view them from the top. And then we'll come back to that as well later. What you'll also see with this on the side is there's a measurement guide. So you can go ahead, if you're playing with water, sand, dirt outside, you could do the science and technology with different measurements and the Star Wars logo on the front. The next section we have here is the sifter. And this is the larger jar, this is a slightly smaller jar. And the sifter, you could basically put your dirt in there, rocks, collecting, sift it out. Then your bottom section is going to be the searchlight slash display. And with that, you can go ahead and turn that on and you'll see you have a flashlight right there. And then it also, you could take the top of that off and that top will become in there. So I think that would actually be pretty cool if you had an actual fly or a buggy caught outside and then you can always use your zoom there with the magnifying lens to take a look at it. Hi, we interrupt this video because while we were doing this we actually had a fly that came in through the screen door so we went ahead and got our recon kit and we went ahead and trapped him or her and we actually connected the base the proper way so that when you turn on the bottom it will illuminate whatever you have which also is very cool. You can use the top of it to look in and the magnifier works very well. You can see a lot of details you can't normally see to the naked eye. And it allows you to take a real up close look at whatever you've collected safely. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. And Gabrielle is going to do some science work on it. And then in a few minutes we're going to go outside and let him go. We just figured we'd share a live catching with our recon kit of a little housefly. Alright, we're now going to go back to the rest of our review. So when you're outside and you're just walking around at nighttime, and then you have two separate containers you can go ahead and put animals in or little bugs, whatever you find out there, critters. And they retail for anywhere from $9.99 to $12.99. And you'll find them in all major stores and online. So we thanks for taking a look and we're gonna review the mini lightsaber tech lab next. And also if you're interested in getting one of these, thanks to Uncle Milton, we're gonna be giving away one to a lucky reader. So there'll be information on yodasnews.com and on the right side of this video, let you know how you get in, entered to win one. Uh, it'll ship for free, direct from Uncle Milton to you. So if you want to take a look, and uh, Gabrielle, what do you think about this? Um, I think it would be pretty cool, and people would love to be play, playing with it, and also have a lot of fun playing, collecting bugs, exploring them. And we hope you enjoy. All right. Do you think you're going to have some fun with this tomorrow? Take it outside and see what you could do? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you for our helper, Gabrielle.